how to become your greatest version. It's a saying understand that you're already great. That's it. Just believing in that perspective and believing in that idea that you're already great. You, know I mean? you gotta be happy. You gotta be in good spirits too. So as long as, as long as you're in good spirits, as long as you're in high natures, you can always ride the currents. You can always ride those waves. And of course, your waves are gonna be spinning just like them rims on your car. So understand and understand that this car that you're in, the spaceship, this body that you're basically riding through, understand and understand. Every day we're gonna be going through rides. We're gonna be going through roller coasters. Some roller coasters is gonna be a little bit shaky. Some co roller coasters is gonna basically go very smooth. Some roller coasters you can't really basically handle because you can't really abstain that intimidation in your stomach, in your belly. Understand and understand that life is just a sandwich. And of course, when you walk through that sand and you put those peanut butter and jelly on that sandwich, Basically, you creating colors, you creating spectrums. Now you could basically put them sandwiches together, cut that up, slice it up the way you want to slice it up. Make sure when you slicing it up, it's in the best, best sandwich. This is about to be the best sandwich of your life. You about to eat that sandwich. That sandwich about to basically about to elevate you, <clears throat> to the highest vibration. Just like them electric sparks, just like them thunderstorms. You feel me? When that sandwich go in your body, your body gonna be a thunderstorm. You feel me? AKA, you want to pick up all the information, all the knowledge of that jelly, of that sandwich. AKA, that sandwich that you just ate and that you basically just regenerated and reciprocated, that sandwich is going to elevate you and put you in the highest space, the highest vibration, the highest energy. Understand, understand. We create energy. Feel me? You are the frequency. You are the vibration. Of course, you create that energy. Now, understand, understand that every day you're creating. So, if you're not creating good waters and good fields, then of course, your shit gonna be dry, your shit gonna be dirty. And of course, when you're walking in that dry and dirt land, things get very foggy. And of course, you ain't got nothing in a thirst stone. You ain't got a water fountain, you ain't got no juices, you ain't got no beverages. So understand, understand, if you lack these requirements that's basically in your fridge, then that means you're lacking internally. And of course, if you're lacking internally, you're gonna be slacking externally, AKA, this is a circumstance situation where <clears throat> if your inner world is not basically in good vibrations or good frequencies, then you're going to put yourself in a box, a square. And of course, when you put yourself in a box in a square, you won't be able to move around. Of course, you're going to go through frustration, inter internal frustration, and it's going to be explained as external frustration. And you can't hide the frustration because, of course, frustrations, angers, energies create auras. And of course, if we can see your aura and shit, your aura feel is very dark, then goddamn, this is a circumstance situation that what's going on behind the scenes, that little fake-ass smile that you're basically doing, hee-hee-ha-ha, we can see right through that shit. So this is a circumstance situation where you can't hide the juice, feel me? We see the juice on you, and that juice is expired, feel me? That juice is out of here. That means you need to come up with some new juices, some new fruits, some new vegetables, and of course, this is a circumstance situation where the longer you stay in that aura field, the longer that aura field expands. To the point you start to become a zombie or look like a zombie, aka you are what you eat. So, whatever you're eating on your thoughts, your feelings, and emotions, and ideas and concepts, they basically create all this dirty ass, wasteful ass products, projects. And of course, that project that you're creating is going to get destroyed because the universe likes to move and get around. So, if you're in a circumstance situation of being in that energy forever, you're going to get walked on, stepped on. Of course, you're going to be basically crumbs to the floor that people walk on. And of course, when people walk on crumbs, what happens? It gets stuck onto their foot. So now you're stuck onto somebody else's foot, somebody else's shoe. And of course, you're not in your right shoe size. So this is a circumstance situation that that size, that shoe that you're in, is not basically walking. It's not basically moving around. So that shoe is not going to be able to move. That shoe is going to start to look crusty and dirty and nasty. And of course, that shoe is about to pick up the energy. See how the shit is collecting dirt? Understand, understand. <clears throat> you are what you create so you have your own vision you have your own insight and of course every day is going to be a struggle it's going to be a battle but of course you got a muhammad ali that punch it back your muhammad ali life aka you got to get basically situated feel me you got to basically have the right punching bag you got to have the right gloves feel me because if you ain't got the right protection if you ain't got the right stuff if you ain't got the right routine then of course that routine that you're basically are enduring or basically in, in, inclined to this is going to be a routine that's going to shatter you, a.k.a. put you in a low vibrational scheme. Of course, when that shit is low vibrational, 
And this is a circumstance situation where you allow that shit to basically happen in your life. You allow that be, that shit to basically tarnish you. And of course, if it's tarnished you, then of course it's gonna put you in dormant, aka you're gonna be locked. Now you're gonna be blocked. Now you in a cell. You can't move. Feel me? It's all you can do. All you can do is hold on to the cell. Feel me? Don't bite the covers. Don't bite the cells. But understand, understand. As long as you got your mind, your body, and your soul, and of course, you are a true solo spirit. And of course, you don't want to basically be in a circumstance situation being solo. You got to learn how to connect with your inner world. And of course, your inner world is when you go inside yourself <coughs> and see what you need to basically clear out. Sometimes you got to get the vacuum cleaner. Sometimes you got to get up out of these areas and get these desires that you basically no longer want to fulfill anymore. Because we all got desires, we all spirits. And of course, if you ain't got a desire, what are you doing here? Why are you here? And of course, circumstance situation where you don't want to make sure that the space and locations and variety and trips that you're basically traveling through, you want to be the person that's basically driving the train. You don't want to be the passenger that's in the train. Understand, understand. When everybody's on your train, everybody is riding. Everybody is experiencing. Everybody is aware. Everybody is connecting. And of course, this is the whole purpose of us coming together to connect. Can like connect for everybody don't want to connect everybody got their own demons everybody in lower energies everybody is at war with themselves everybody don't know themselves so this is a circumstance situation where we got to help each other each one teach one and of course this is circumstance situations of the power that we have within ourselves but if everybody is not willing to use this power then how are we going to basically have control to basically create and work together this way we don't have to rely on shit outside of ourselves because we got our inner world right we work together and of course together like that sandwich just like i said and of course bread and butter so of course if you got the right butter then of course you will have a mother you have a father you have a connection you have a family and of course teamwork make their dream work so of course if that teamwork is not teaming up and that, that work is not working then of course that dream is not going to work you feel me that's the whole purpose of you have to make sure you in the right space to make sure your shit is right in order for you to basically be in those energies. <clears throat> but let's get up into this video. Also, this is a circumstance situation. To be your highest virgin, you already know what you got to do. You just have to be in the energies. Understand, understand that everybody that you connect with or communicate with, you need to actually separate yourself from these people, places, and things at times too. Everybody deserves a breather. Everybody deserves space. Because if you with each other all damn day, and we're not actually working on a goal <coughs> or have something to basically stand on structure-wise where we can create, what is the purpose of us doing together? We're wasting time. And of course, time is very important. Time is precious. And if you ain't controlling the time, you're gonna be you're gonna be controlled and consumed by the time. So of course. If you ain't, if you don't have your own time frame, you ain't got your own schedule. They're gonna be controlled and used by somebody else's time, somebody else's time machine, somebody else's consuming nation. Of course, of course, your ass gonna be in a machine. You're gonna be a robot. Aka, you're gonna be operating on day schedule, day time. Aka, your ass gotta be at this time. Like, wait, what? Oh, hold on, hold on. Last I checked, I'll be here whenever I wanna be here. And of course, I gotta be in a circumstance situation where I wanna be comfortable at being in this, in this spot, at being in this location at this time. And of course, we got to do what we got to do. But some people get lost into that spot. Some people get lost into the Matrix, the Masonic shit. AKA, they get lost into all that shit outside of them. Okay, cool. You got to do this to gain this. You got to do that to gain that. You got to do that to gain that. <clears throat> this is how they get you. AKA, they taking your happiness. They taking your happiness. They taking your passions. They taking your all your energies. And of course, the energy is being deprived into their motherfucking Matrix. They blocks. They tools. All they shit, they visions, aka they visions of how they want to see you do shit for them, work for them. Go up, go up there, take on these analogies. And of course, this is how you get caught up into their shit. They world. Feel me? You don't want to get caught up in somebody else's world. That shit is very demonic, of course. Too demonic, too lost, too down there. And of course, vibrating in that energy, you're not going to be able to manifest nothing for yourself but just crumbs. And of course, you don't want to be manifesting crumbs. Your ass gonna be a swimmer, your ass gonna be a bum. Because one day when it's time for you to basically go what they plan, they pop the population is in it. They're gonna be like, wait, hold on, we gotta get these motherfuckers up out of here. And of course, when they take something away from you, you feel vulnerable right now. You feel naked. You feel like, oh shit, I don't have nothing to stand on. That's how they that's how they get you. That's how they get you. Because you're not working on yourself. You ain't creating your own world. You ain't creating your own shit. You lost into today's shit. And of course, the longer you stay lost in today's shit, you repeat the same experiences all over again. That's why it's very important to be very creative into what you do, into what you get yourself into. Because, of course, if you get yourself into their box, this is how they connect you, this is how they control you. 
And of course, it's passed through generation to generation. But of course, you got to come here and basically break the generational curses. And of course, this is a circumstance situation that if you're not on the right path with yourself, if you don't know yourself, this is time to basically know yourself, feel me? Niggas ain't playing with you right now. Your government ain't playing with you, feel me? They govern your mental for a reason, your mind. And of course, if you ain't governing your own mind, goddamn, you ain't got a body, you ain't got a soul. And of course, if you trapped into somebody else's matrix mentalities, then of course, there's going to be a circumstance situation where your reality is shattered and they fucking Uber, aka they Uber, your shit is shattered into this world, this mechanism, <clears throat> aka you got to rely on the Uber to get somewhere. You need to create your own Uber, create your own business, create your own organization. Of course, this is where the war starts, aka this has got to be a circumstance situation where how long are you willing to go to war to create your own world, to be sustained, feel me? <clears throat> so if you don't go get your power, like these squirrels that's out here searching for nuts, how the fuck you gonna basically be in a position to basically be stabilized? And of course, if you ain't stable, <clears throat> that means somebody is messing with your stability. If somebody messes with your stability, you better go kill that spirit. You better go pick that spirit and the bondage. Conceal the ass. Conceal that demon. Because that demon ain't got a leg to walk on. That demon is basically trying to control and harness your comfortability. And of course, if your comfortability and safety and, safety and security is jeopardized, then how are you going to be able to be secure? And of course, your spirit don't want to be in that position. Your spirit want to be moving around. Your spirit want to get from point A to point B and not be tossed tourist from point A to from point B to point C to point C to point C to point B, you feel me? Your spirit wanna go to a nice little moving point where it can basically elevate. And of course, if you ain't elevated, there's something wrong, something's very wrong with that shit, you feel me? Every day you gotta elevate, you feel me? You can't stay into one position too long, you feel me? You gotta be open for new experiences, new ways. Just In life, you just gotta experience, you feel me? You gotta experience. Fuck all the other shit. Experience your life and live your best life every day. You be in that truly state. Understand, understand that it's going to be very hard to basically get into these um, perspectives for other people. won't be hard for you if you basically have a mind, mentality, and a strong mind, body, and soul. You can basically move around and walk on. But if you're in a circumstance situation or a curriculum or a predicament where folks are basically not agreeing with your terms and conditions, that's because you're around demons, a.k.a. lower animalistic, lower animalistic natures, a.k.a. mentalities of people, places, and things that stuff to uh, the world told you how the world would be. Society lied to you. You feel me? Society basically utilized your mentality to build their world and their concept. And of course, they use your energy, your power, your emotions, your vibrations, your thoughts, your feelings. Of course, they use all that shit. And of course, that's how they create behind the scenes. What you think this shit was? Oh, this is some anim animosity going on? <clears throat> Ain't no animosity. If you, in a space and location of commitment and control, and want all the power in the world, then this is what you're gonna do to basically go to the farther existences, existences and create these perspectives to basically get people in these positions. But it's highly important to basically make sure that you are in your position where you can basically control yourself and have your way of going around this world not getting caught up into other shit that this world is blindsided you by, you feel me? So you gotta create your own ways of doing things. You gotta create your own perspectives. You gotta have your own mind in this world. If you ain't got your own mind in this world, then who the fuck are you? You're just somebody else that's a rat, a.k.a. a sheep, following the other sheep. And, of course, that's what people, places, and things follow the other, other sheep. Get lost into what they tell you on the motherfucking news. And, of course, you follow that, you a sheep. You ain't got your own mind. So, come here and come get this shit so I can shoot you up and kill you. That's basically how they look at you. Like a bunch of butch, but like a bunch of roaches or cockroaches. Ants following the packs. But let's not even use them. Because they can, they can be very strong. An uh, ant is very fucking strong. You see an ant working together? That's real shit. Sheeps don't work together. Sheeps just work together to basically get merged into this shit and get killed together. For me, so if you follow the sheep, if you follow the monkey, see monkey do. But of course, this is how you get caught up into that shit. Learn how to separate from people, places, and things. But basically, it's not in the mentalities of trying to elevate themselves to basically do better in this life. For me, because we in times where you know this is this is what we got at this perspective elevating and moving around of course if you ain't moving around or elevating or trying to basically get to that highest arena and of course you ain't got an arena you ain't got an oratorium for me the oratorium is very small very lopsided of course to the ground that you go and understand understand that sometimes you got to do uncomfortable things to be in comfortable situations aka you got to make the sacrifices self-sacrifices working on your motherfucking self on a day-to-day -day basis no matter how much time you got for me now we got 23 hours in a day what is your, your time and energy going towards to? Shit where you want to be elevated or shit that don't really have no consent. Now believe in yourself and trust your abilities. I love you.